These right here are three of the Paldean Fades Premium Collection Boxes. These Premium Collection Boxes actually feature the entire shiny evolution line of each of the Generation 9 starters from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And my personal favorite starter from Pokemon Scarlet is going to be Sprigatito, Lorgato, and Meowskarata EX. Each one of these boxes comes with eight packs of Paldean Fates, as well as a giant, gorgeous, textured Jumbo Ultra Rare which actually makes this a pretty good alternative for the Elite Trainer Box if you've already opened those and you got the sleeves and all the stuff that's inside. Personally, I'd rather have all of these promos than that one extra pack that you get in the Elite Trainer Box, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Code cards are, of course, going out to the fan gang, as always, all throughout the video, so stick around for those. And of course, we are still on the hunt for that Dark-type Terraform Special Illustration Rare Charizard EX. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Pokefang, and welcome to the fan gang. Boom, Meowskarata EX, Skeledurge EX, and Quackaval EX. Eight packs in each, 24 packs total. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pull that dark type Terraform Special Illustration Ray Charizard today. We've opened so many packs. It has to be in here somewhere. I think we're gonna start off with Quackaval and work our way up to my personal favorite starter, the Meowskarata or the Sprigatito. Let's slide this out here. Oh, that's right. I heard about this. So this little plastic thing right here, literally just a piece of like this same exact plastic right here. I think this is supposed to be a stand for the cards themselves. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work out. This to me does not seem right at all. There we go. Boom, code card for the Scarlet and Violet Paldean Fates Quackaball EX Premium Collection. I don't know uh, what that's actually gonna get you. I haven't scanned any of these myself. Maybe it gets you all of the promos, but that code card's going out to the fan gang as always. And I think from this direction is the way we wanna go. Yes, so we have our Quaxley right there. And actually now that this box is open, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we have it, now we're talking. Quaxley, baby shiny, very, very nice. I love that these promos were included because I thought it was a little strange that Paldean Fates didn't actually include the Paldean starters as the shinies in the set. I thought that was a little bit weird, but uh, little did I know they were just saving them to have them as promos. So there you have it. Followed by, of course, Quaxwell. And I will say of all of the uh, starter Pokemon that you can get in Scarlet and Violet, I do think that the Quaxy, Quaxley evolution line is probably going to be my least favorite. I don't know what it is about like just duck and bird Pokemon. Uh, I just personally like the ones that are a little bit more like mammal based, like the cats and dogs and things like that. But Quackaval EX looking fly. And then we have our Jumbo Quackaval, which I personally love the Jumbo cards. Let me see if I can show you guys why. Yeah, so look at the, the actual texture on this card. I love that. That's my favorite thing about these Jumbo cards. Um, is when they're the textured kind and you can see every little detail that goes into making the regular sized ones. I love, love, love these jumbo uh, EXs and VMAXs and things like that. All the ones that are textured. So here's all eight of our Paldean Fates packs and then it looks like behind there is going to be our display, but how do we actually get it out? Ah, okay, there's another layer. And then here we have our three card Magnetic display, the stand for this. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just kind of doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know why they did that. Here's an example of what they did for the uh, Gyarados and the Charizard boxes as well. They say Pokemon Trading Card and gave it the bottom. It's a little plastic base, but this is like pretty secure. I feel pretty safe waving this around. Um, it goes in there like nice and snug. It doesn't fall off. The base doesn't fall off on its own. Pro. The other ones are definitely Ultra Pro. But I don't see Ultra Pro branding on this at all, but what I do see is some kind of crazy scratches or something Bruh. right there on the acrylic. This is fresh out of the box. I did not uh, drop this or anything. Quality control could definitely be better because I don't see Ultra Pro branding on this anywhere. And I don't think Ultra Pro would approve this right here either. So that's kind of a bummer, if I'm being honest. If this is how you wanted to do it, or I guess you could take one of the full arts or the ultra rares from each of the uh, other boxes and put them in here, but that's basically how you would display. I mean, it's not bad. Once it's in here, this isn't bad. This doesn't feel that cheap. I do wish there was not a scratch on it. We have a lot of packs to open today. This is gonna be kind of a long video, but I hope you guys are settled in and relaxed. I know I've mentioned it before, but my favorite place to open up or open up, watch Pokemon content 
is from the comfort of my couch or in my bed or something like that up on my TV. So I'll airplay it or mirror it or whatever, or I'll open it up on the YouTube app on my TV. If you guys have Apple TV or Roku or something like that, it's a great way to watch YouTube in my opinion. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this code card out to the fan gang, of course, boom. We're gonna go with Psychic Energy first because we haven't gotten it first pack in a while. So let's see what we can do. Boom, Darkness Energy, not bad. All right, we did start off with some good luck ghosties right there. Ghastly, Paldean Student, Fido, Haunter, this pack already slaps. Scrafty, ooh, there is gonna be a Gengar in uh, Temporal Forces, which by the time this video is out, Temporal Forces is probably out already. I have a ton of it right here to open and record, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the edits done in time. We will be opening tons and tons of Temporal Forces. There we go, Noivern, EX, Full Art, and a Lapras, and a Houndstone. So first pack magic already with the Full Art Shiny. So let's see what we can do. I like that Noivern. Every time I see a little Noibat, it reminds me of the one that, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram from like back in the day, there was a little baby bat that I found, code card going out to the gang, in my stairwell. And uh, we took care of it, we moved it to a tree and then it flew away and uh, hopefully it lived a long, long life. You gotta take care of the animals, guys. That's what Pokemon is all about. That's why I'm not a big fan of Power World. It's not about taking care of animals in Power World. I don't, I don't like that. All right, here we go. Let's go with uh, Metal Energy. Oh, doubling up, double darkness energy, interesting. All right, Ralt, Toad School, Woobat, Fampy, Gengar, my boy. I was saying there is a Gengar chase card and a Gengar uh, Ultra Rare in Temporal Forces that I cannot wait to pull. Charmeleon, Oinkalone, Ralt, Reverse, Charmander Reverse, very nice. And a regular Bobostiff Hollow. All right, pack number three, eight packs uh, for about $40. I think they were originally retailing for 50, maybe more, but they're definitely going for more like uh, 40 now. Let's go with Metal Energy again. Should've went with Psychic. Should have gone with Psychic. Should've seen that coming with our Psychic abilities. Demona, but I personally have opened enough ETBs. Uh, I'd rather open something like this that comes with some guaranteed hits. Iono, very nice, playable. Kilowattrol, Ghastly Reverse, my boy. Maractus, imagine if that was a Haunter Reverse, and then a Gengar. Oh, Great Tusk, not the best hit. I don't know, they could have done better in my opinion with the uh, the regular EXs. All right, code card, go now to the Fang Gang. Metal Energy, oh, Grass, Touch Grass Energy. Okay, Frigibax. Uh, I just started, I won't say I just started, but I'm maybe like halfway through the Indigo Disc expansion in Scarlet and Violet, which makes me feel like I'm really far behind on just like the lore of everything. But it was fun watching Pokemon Horizons and uh, getting to see a lot of new characters that hopefully, I don't know if they'll end up in the TCG if they weren't in the game. I, I have a hard time figuring out what exactly decides whether or not something's gonna make it in the TCG if it was in the anime or the, or the game itself. Electric Generator. There we go. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know. Kilowattrol and a regular Toad School. Toad Scruel, my bad. Next pack code card going out to the Fang Gang. Grab that. Okay. Water energy. Oh, there's the metal. There's the metal. We're a couple packs away from where we want to be today. Lapras, Scraggy, Mime Jr., Oinkalone, Moonlit Hill, Camerupt, Raichu Reverse. Lapras Reverse and a Houndstone regular hollow three packs left from this box and we're gonna get into Skeledurge EX up next super pumped I can't believe they already announced tw uh, Twilight Masquerade code card going at Fan Gang I already saw the energy card because it was stuck to there and it was fire so didn't get to guess that one but uh, Twilight Masquerade is that what it's called I think that's what it's called it's coming out after Temporal Forces uh, in a couple months man I wish they would wait just a week, maybe two weeks. Just give us some time. Give us some time to enjoy the new sets that come out. Like telling us what the new set is gonna be right before the next set, or right, yeah, right before the next set drops. Before Temple Forces is even out, we already know what the next set is gonna be. Uh, just give us some time to enjoy it, man. Slow down a little bit. Barboach and a Golden Go Hollow. Mr. Cheese Stick, man. For some reason he just, I don't know, just does not look like 
he's made out of money. I know that's what they're going for, but it just doesn't doesn't feel right. It still looks like a cheese string cheese man. All right, code card going after the fang gang. We have, uh, of course, water energy now. Nope, punchy's energy. If you know, you know. Regular show. Woo bat. Tandem mouse. Aldean whooper. Execute. Swoo bat. Artisan, Curlia, Pineco, Clavapus. This is my fiance's, one of my fia fiance's favorites. And a Mabostiff. I don't like how they made Mastiff and Mabostiff so aggro. All right, there we go. I like happy dogs. Happy dogs, I'm all about. All right, at one point or another, if we start selling merch on Pokefang.com, which we do have merch available, uh, I want to start contributing some percentage of it to a charity for uh, rescue dogs or something like that. So I'm a big dog person and I want to be able to make sure that I'm just giving back as much as possible. Uh, I'm a big believer in karma and I'm a big believer in being a good person. Good things will happen to you. So let's go with uh, water energy finally. Oh, there's psychic again. Looks like we're not going to get to pop the collar today. Pineco, Numel, Maractus, Paldean Students, Mousehold. Ultra Ball, man, that new Master Ball A-Spec card that's in uh, Temporal Forces. I cannot wait to see that. And there we go, Baby Shiny, finally. Man, we have not gotten any Baby Shinies. This is the first one out of the pack, and it's the last pack, or out of the box, in this last pack. Get with the program, Pokefang, Paldean Student, and a Raichu Hollow. I do think I needed this one, to be honest the Skeledurge EX box. I'm just gonna cut to when I have opened this box because it's gonna be super loud for no reason. Code card for the Skeledurge going out to the Fang Gang. Our little Fue Coco, baby shiny, adorable. Honestly, Fue Coco reminds me more of like a dog, like a little French Bulldog or something, a little goofball. And it is cool that uh, Liko, the main character in the new Pokemon Horizons, did get a Sprigatito as a uh, her starter. Crocolore is probably one of the most awkward teenage phase um, Pokemon stage ones that I've ever seen. I don't know what they were thinking with this thing. It's got this little basket head thing. I don't I don't get it. It's a weird one. All right, Skeldurge EX is a pretty cool evolution. I didn't know for the longest time that this is like a little creature on the end of its nose. I never like noticed it. I thought it was just like, you know, there's flames everywhere, decorations and stuff like that. Did not realize that that's actually like a little thing that interacts with it. Beautiful, beautiful texture on there. Love to see it. There we go. Just need to take a moment to organize everything here. It's getting a little out of control. All right. Code card going out to the Fangay. Enjoy that, guys. Let me know what you're able to redeem on TCG Live. For some reason my focus on my camera is just not, not with it today. Let's go with water finally. Nope, we got electrocuted. Totally just electrocuted. All right, execute. Almost sounds like electrocute. Weird. Conspiracy, probably. Artisan, which they actually visit Artisan in Horizons. Spoiler alert. Uh, not that that spoils anything. Lantern, Atticus reverse, Varum reverse, and my boy Mimikyu. I do wish the Mimikyu promo was different. I've been thinking about it, I've been reflecting. I think the Mimikyu promo that they put in the ETBs, it could have been, it could have been better. Code card going out to the gang. Psychic energy, oh, Fuego energy. All right, Ghastly right off the rip though. Spooky, Ralts, Toad School, Woobat, Charmeleon, Doxbun. I just found out through the TV show that Fido and po probably Doxbun also, that they emit some sort of like yeast from their breath that ferments everything around them. That is the weirdest piece of Pokemon lore I think I've maybe ever, ever heard. I don't know, that's just that's just very strange. And there it is again. Waving its butt in the air, being all yeasty, weird. Palafin, there we go. About the time we saw one of these illustration rares. There's only a few of them in the set and in Mabostiff. Uh, I think only three in this set. We pulled the Bubble Mew already. We pulled the Charizard in Japanese. If you guys didn't see my last video where I mentioned that, we did get the Japanese. Um, I don't know why that looks so dirty, the plastic on that. I, just, I have no idea. It's just dust, I think, from being on my desk. My life is in shambles. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with water. It's gotta be water, finally. Drip energy. Yes. Gotta do it, 
how to do it. All right, got the drip energy. Grievered, starting off with Psychic Boy. Vampy, Chinchow, Varum, Camerupt, Atticus, and Donphan, apparently, and Maractus, Reverse. Frigibax, and another Toad Scroll EX. I sleeved all my cards from when I was a kid and I kept them my whole life. I'm very grateful to have held on to my childhood collection and they would not be in the shape that they're in if I wasn't taking good care of them, even though a lot of them weren't worth much at the time. So I try to keep that in mind, try to make sure I'm taking care of my cards no matter what. Code card out to the fan gang. It's gonna have to be metal energy. No, Wago again. All right, Magmar. I wanna see something big here. I feel like we're just getting some like a lot of mid hits, just mid hits left and right. Rare Candy, Kilowattrel, Curlia. Got to get something big soon. Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, Crisis Punchy's Energy, Ghastly Reverse. Ooh, another Palafin. Is this how it's gonna be today? Is Palafin gonna be the new Wigglytuff? Followed by the Mimikyu. You know what that means? It's Wug Trio time. We're getting the Wug Trio next. I know it. That's usually the one that I get nonstop opening Caldean Fates. Let's go Psychic again. Oh, jeez. Magmar. Nimona, also. Uh, Ian Horizons, pretty cool. Rare Candy, Grapplocked. Nimona's Backpack. Dox Bun. Mankey. There's the Palmy. Not the Wug Trio that I thought it was going to be. I'm actually still missing a lot of baby shinies from this set too. So baby shinies would also be very much welcome. Almost almost grabbed the energy card there. It's gonna have to be metal though. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, we gotta do it. Thug life. Thug life. Flittle. Flittle? I don't know why I couldn't say that just now. Flittle. Haldane Wooper. For some reason was getting butt kicked in uh, Horizons. Man, I just keep talking about Horizons. Go watch it. You should go watch it if you haven't already. It's really fun. Ralts Reverse. Frigibax Reverse. I feel like we've gotten that like three times already. Oh, and there we go. Paldean Students. I think this is only like a few dollar card at this point. Singular and not plural when there's four of them. At least it's not the one where the kid's smelling his finger. It's a weird one. That's a weird one. I don't know what that's about. Maybe that means something. Let me know in the comments if that symbolizes something. I keep grabbing energies. There you go, code card going out. Darkness. Oh, grass, touch grass energy. Grievered, Chinchow, Woobat, Scraggy, Swoobat, Moonlit Hill, Camera Up. My, my brain just blanked him for a moment. Houndstone, Magmar, and Magmortar. Interesting. Uh, I need you guys to let me know in the comments, do you want to do a live stream Q&A situation, binder building situation, something like that. I need you guys to let me know that you will show up for that, for me to dedicate the time to actually do it and go live. Because when I record my videos, I really try to squeeze them into my work week whenever I can. Uh, but if we do a live, then we all got to kind of come together at the same time and make sure we do it. Uh, so let me know in the comments what uh, what you would like to see from a live, what kind of content you would want, opening packs, talking about upcoming sets, just Q&A, just chilling. I'm down. I'm down for any of it. So just let me know what you want to do. All right. Psychic energy. Yes. Yo, we are on fire right now. <sighs> Psychic energy. Now we're talking, baby. All right. Fampy this is our last pack from this one. And we're moving on to the... Meow Scarada, my boy. That is my favorite of the starters from Paldea. Curlia, Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, Chinchow, Reverse, Tag Mortar, and a Professor Sada. The moment I've been waiting for. And maybe you haven't if you're not a Meow Scarada person. Uh, I'm actually not even a cat person. I just really like Meow Scarada. I just think choosing Meow Scarada as my starter made the game so much easier for me. Couldn't tell you why, but it did. It definitely did. There's our little Sprigatito. <laughs> my tone just totally changed when I saw how cute 
my little Sprigatito is here. And I will say the colorways of the shinies for these shiny starters is like crazy because you can barely tell that they're even shinies at all. The Florigato, which I will say that like, it feels like the stage ones are just so forgettable. Lately, I feel like they get like five levels before they go to stage two. Just feels like you didn't even have, I don't even remember having a Florigato. Like it must have lasted like 20 minutes to 40 minutes maximum gameplay. There is the one, the only Meowskarada EX. Doesn't have my favorite move from the game, which I think is called Flower Trick, uh, but still great card. Love to see it. Code card, of course, going out to the fan gang. Eight more of those on the way, so stick around. Let's see if we can do this. Finally, let's close the chapter on this. Let's close the chapter on this special illustration ray Charizard. Like, legit. I need to reset this camera. Hold on. All right, just gonna make some quick camera adjustments because I don't know what was going on there, but it's really having a hard time focusing today. Code card going out to the fan gang. And here we go. We got, uh, of course, it's gonna have to be, what have we not seen in a while? Darkness energy, we haven't seen in a minute. There it is, baby. We are on absolute fire today. Like, it's crazy how many times we've been hitting with the guessing of the energy predicting of the energy i gotta remember to call it predicting the energy all right premonitions of the energies iono we got a frigibax don fan reverse and an armor rouge we should be seeing more baby shinies and at least one special illustration rare based on where i'm at in my pack opening journey i don't know why i almost through that without giving it out to the fan gang. Let's go, let's go lightning. Ah, grass, we just got grass. All right, anyway. Frigibax, Pineco, Numel, Natu, Mousehold, Lantern, Primeape, Ghastly, Reverse again, Maractus, and a Revervroom Hollow. I just wanna say, you made it this far, Thank you so much for sticking around, opening up packs with me. I'll probably say that again at the end because I just it always flows right out. But uh, specifically in the last video, um, which I think might have been might have been my birthday video uh, with the crown zenith that I got kind of scammed on. Uh, the comments were really awesome. You guys were asking really great questions. Obviously, I understand why you'd be skeptical of that kind of thing. I just want to let you guys know that I sat on that video for a couple of months. I wasn't going to post it. I almost deleted it entirely because I just thought it was bad content. No one would want to watch it. But um, having gotten burned so badly by that seller, I felt like it was just, it was a responsible thing to do is to share those moments with you guys as well so that you know what's really going on out there in the streets. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's dangerous out here. We could get scammed at any moment from, you know, places that you think are rock solid like tcg player there are still people out there that are just cheating the system and making their way uh, into our wallets unfortunately so i decided to share it with you guys anyway and also it just felt crazy to not post something that was supposed to be like for my birthday and a couple people said that you actually wanted to see how that was made let's go darkness grass energy again doubling up on that uh, how i made the booster box there is at the very end of the video if you slow the speed down to like 0.5x or something like that, you can see the process of me uh, doing it. It's right after the outro. And uh, I just I included it in there. I sped it up really fast because um, I ended that video saying, thank you, Fang Gang. And that's something I did before I, I realized I got scammed. So that was just me trying to have a good time uh, with my birthday video. And I figured adding that little extra note in there at the end, let you guys know where my intentions were coming from. Nimona's backpack, Chin Chow. Nimona, well, I should let you know. I found your backpack. Executor, what? Is that our first Executor Hollow? I think it might be. There's so many Hollows now. All right, code card going out to Fang Gang. I'm getting impatient. I want to see a Charizard. I'm not even the biggest Zard guy, but like for that to be the chase card in this set, and I think I've opened a couple hundred packs at this point. Come on, we got to do this. 
Punchy's energy. Didn't even call it. See, look how stressed out I am. Maybe if we do the pack trick. Maybe if we do the Pokefang pack trick, which is three to the front. Flip it over. Boom. Just like that. You see how that works? Pokefang pack trick never fails. Noibat. Shiny Noibat's adorable, by the way. Cottony. And a Mabostiff Hollow. Let's get right to the Zard, right? Or the Bubble Mew. Maybe we'll get another one of those. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Boom. Also, guys, as always, let me know in the comments uh, if you've been pulling anything good lately. I'd love to hear those stories. Any of you who have left comments in the past and you've seen me interact with you, you know that that's how I do it around here. I go through those comments, I read them all, and I comment back. Uh, as long as your comment like makes sense, or, you know, deserves a response and you're not being like rude or anything like that, I'll typically respond. Uh, anybody who wants to talk about Pokemon TCG and stay positive. Um, let's go with darkness again. Grass again. Wow. That's like the fourth grass in like five, five or six packs. Interesting. One, two, three to the front. Let's get another baby shiny. No, nope, maybe not. Paldean Wooper. Chin Chow. Oh, Noivern X. But right after the Noibat, which is pretty interesting. Pretty spooky. All right. Here we go. Code card going out. Psychic. Drip energy. One, two, three. Here we go. Mankey reverse. Grievered. And a Raichu hollow. Man. I thought the pulls in this were going to be much better. Obviously, these are legit. Um, these are not from a seller on TCG Play or anything like that. That is over. That is in the past, guys. I'm strictly buying from my personal favorite local LGS uh, XP Collect in Manville, New Jersey. That's where I get my products from. Uh, for now on, all my English products. And uh, if I get Japanese products, I'll let you guys know in those videos where I pick those up. We're going to go with um, Psychic. We're nailing it, oh, wrong button. We are nailing it with the guessing, predicting of the energy game, uh, but for some reason not for the pulls. We're not getting the best pulls. We gotta work on that. Charmeleon, Rev of Room, and a Zatu. See what I mean? Last pack magic, guys. Make sure to smash the luck button. Looks like this, looks like this. It's down below. That sends luck. Our way. Sounds good luck, ghosty energy to our way. And just like how we got that psychic energy just now. Good luck, ghosty energy. Here we go. Code card going out to the bang gang. If you're here just for the codes, deuces. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you get some good stuff. Um, let's go with uh, darkness energy again. Metal. Should have known. I should have known. Slow roll this last one here. Because I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Open up packs with me. Thank you so much for being awesome and just supporting the channel over the last few years. If you're new, so much more to look forward to. We're still in our absolute, uh, you know, growing era of, of this channel, but uh, we have come a long way as well. We've been around for about three years now. I used to make content on Instagram before I started YouTube. And I started YouTube because so many people in the community were encouraging me to do so and uh, being really supportive. You know, I didn't think I could do it. And here we are today, 6,500 strong in the Fang Gang, keeping Pokemon positive, uh, keeping uh, you know, keeping our chins up, enjoying what's new and coming out and making the best of this hobby and this thing that we love since we were kids. Artisan, Haldane student, reverse, annihilate, and here we go, guys. What could it be? Nope. The actual Black Star promos from the Meowth Karata box are gonna be my favorite hits from today's video. I don't know why we didn't get anything really that crazy, but thanks so much again for sticking around, opening up packs with me. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I hope you pull some amazing stuff in Temporal Forces. Catch you in the next one, and as always, happy haunting, Fang Gang.